guys, for today's video, we are going to be following up on a color correction video. I had a few videos back. It is my cousin. She's been going through a lot of brassiness because we are lifting her from a dark all over color, and she's wanting to be blonde. So we are doing another session today, trying to lift it out, go a little lighter, and then putting extensions in. So if you're interested in watching this, stay tuned. It's been a while, hasn't it? Mommy, it's, been been six, almost, it's been a little over six weeks. Has it? Oh, really? And guess it's what? Hard. This is so exciting. It Kinda is. put heat on it. It feels pretty it's good. six weeks. It was January 9th. Yeah. Yeah, she hasn't put heat on her hair for six weeks. That is so good. It's feeling awesome. Should not do that. She's the dream client. Okay, so I wanted to make this video because I figured that since I filmed the first session that we might as well just keep going until she reaches her goal so that you guys can see what it's like each session with her. So her last video was the going, going blonde video. I took her from a brassier orange color because we had stripped her hair color out and we had just kind of left it that way to give it a break and then we did a highlight and we got her to a nice beigey blonde but she has faded brassy over the last six weeks so we are now highlighting again to knock through the rest of it and then we are going to be doing extensions um she wanted to wait to do extensions until she reached her goal color so I told her if we got really close today we could do it and then the next session would just perfect it and so I'm really excited to see how we lift today um we are just doing a full highlight it's me and my assistant just powering through full baby light we are using Fanola no yellow powder lightener with 20 volume and Olaplex I just want to state up front that my client is aware that her hair is damaged and she is aware that this process could damage it further, but we are going to be as safe and healthy as we can by using Olaplex and a lower volume developer and just kind of watching the foils and making sure we pull them in time. So as you can see here, we have got a full head of foils. She's got so, so many foils in there, just jam-packed, small, small baby lights. And then she just has that hair that's hanging out as the subsections, which we will tone in the bowl. I'm thinking for her extension color, I'm going to do a solid blonde with a dimensional blonde just so that it blends in. And this is now her sitting under the dryer processing for the last 10 minutes. Okay, so we let her process about 45 minutes in total. And as you guys saw, the last 10 minutes I threw her under the dryer to get some heat on those foils. And she lifted beautifully. I am so, so happy with how she lifted. We obviously still have some warmth and some dimension left over in there, but for the most part, she lifted pretty Pretty evenly and I'm stoked about that. So I am actually shadowing her root with Shades EQ 7N with just a little bit of 7NA to fight any of the brass that we got. Um, that 7N is going to match her natural base really well. She's a 7 naturally and that's what's going to look best when her natural starts to grow in. So I'm just shadowing it and then slightly tapping around the hairline so that it's brighter around the face. So I have Olaplex number two sitting on her ends while I did the root color and now I am combing through to blend everything together. And then if you guys did notice, I tapped the hairline but I did leave the front many pieces out. Like you can see right here, they are left out and then I'm going to slightly tap them just to blend them in. But I always do them last and then just slightly tap instead of shadow because it's going to keep it brighter around the face.
And I always rinse out the hairline first just because I do want that to stay the brightest. And then I'm going to rinse out the remainder of the root color and then tone her ends. All right, I am toning her with Redken Shades EQ, of course. We are using 9P, 9N with a dash of 8NA just to help kick any of the remaining brass. I have my Shades EQ video coming very soon. I've been working on it for a few months because I wanted to make sure that I had all the information I needed and that it was absolutely perfect, but it's going to be a guide to Redken Shades EQ, things I have learned over the years and things that it's important to know before you start using that line or just maybe things you didn't even know about it. So that video is going to be super Super awesome and I'm excited to be posting that so stay tuned. So her hair did get light enough to put extensions in, so we are doing two bags of the Jessie, which is a rooted platinum blonde, and then one bag of the Mariah, which is a dimensional beigey blonde. Mixing those two together is going to match her hair pretty dead on, and then I told her that if she got even blonder in the future, she could just swap out the Mariah for another Jessie, and then she would be solid blonde. So it was a really good idea to add extensions because it will help make her feel a little bit lighter, and it's also going to give her the long hair that she's been dying to have. She's been going out without a extensions for like two or three months now and she was just so excited to have them again so I'm adding those tape and extensions in and then I will go over how to blend them Looks amazing. Like white trash. <laughs> I know, it looks perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so this is just a little sneak peek into how I like to blend extensions. I always pull the extensions forward first. I ask my client to show me in the mirror where they want it to hit so I have a good guideline. And then I always go about half an inch longer than they tell me to because with blending, I will lose a little more length as I continue working on them. So that's what I'm doing here is I am just cutting a baseline in front on both the left and right sides. I always like to point cut because it ends up looking a little more natural. If you blunt cut extensions, they already can look too blunt and it makes the ends look a little more fake. So I am just point cutting and now I over direct it to the back and I'm going to be matching the back baseline up to the front. Once I do the back, I like to extend it over a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. You can see me kind of doing that here. I take it over the shoulder and then I match it back up in the front again. And I just make sure that that baseline is absolutely perfect before I move on to layering. So with extensions, I always like to slide cut when it comes to blending, slide cutting, point cutting, and then texturizing. Those are my three rules. I don't ever like to use a razor with extensions because it can fray the cuticle and it can cause some damage to the extension. So just using your regular shears and texturizing shears is totally fine, but you're not necessarily doing like a 90 degree haircut with extensions or traditional layers like that. I usually take it from where her own air, her own hair ends and then blend down by slide cutting. That's usually what looks the most natural natural and it's what lays the best. 
slide cutting and texturizing around the face is probably one of the most important parts of hair extensions. Trust me, it is what connects the natural hair to the extension hair and makes it look the most blended and the most real. So I always try to convince my clients that they need a little bit of a face frame and I always work from where their hair ends and just slide down. Depending on how dramatic they want it, you can do more layering, but I like to start softer and work my way into it just so that it doesn't get too crazy or too choppy for them. But I really do feel like this is what makes it look the most natural. Also, I know that the Jessie extensions are a little lighter than her hair, but like I said, this is going to help her feel a little brighter till her next appointment. And then with the next highlight, when she gets this bright, she'll be able to keep these extensions. So I can just already envision the comments I'm going to get about them not matching or her hair being damaged. And trust me, I already addressed both of those things and I already know, but she's my cousin and she was just excited to start the blonding process and she knew there was damage going into it. She also knew that these extensions were a little too blonde, but it honestly looked so good at the very end. They blended so, so well, better than I thought they were going to. And now she's excited to even be more blonde in the future. So I was super happy with how this transformation turned out and so was she. Also, I would love to hear your guys' recommendations for the best shears. My shears have been going out on me lately. I don't know if they're just too dull or if I've had them too long or what's going on, but they're just not working as well as I would like them to. I do a lot of dry cutting and extension cutting, so if you guys have any recommendations for the best shears for those two things, please leave them in the comments below because I am on the hunt for new shears. All right, so my cute assistant just curled her hair and now she is doing a really cute braided style. It seriously turned out so, so cute. The color turned out amazing. The extensions were great. And then this style just topped it off. If you guys are interested in more styling videos, me and Caitlin have talked about making some of those. She's going to be putting this one on her Instagram probably. We made a little braid video for her to post. So if you guys are interested in that, I will put her Instagram right here. But if you guys want more style videos like this one in the future, please let me know because that is something we would love to do. And also, thank you so much for all of the positive feedback we got on the video that Caitlin made for my channel, um, A Day in the Life of My Assistant. If you guys haven't seen it, it was a couple videos back and it was so good. And I love that you guys got to know Caitlin and you guys all love her as much as I do. When you first saw me. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I'm glad that I got to take you on the little journey of this transformation because we started out with like literally orange hair. If you guys are interested in watching the first session, I will link it in the description box below. And now we are here and it looks so beautiful and probably one more session until it's absolutely perfect. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.